Hey everybody. Here we have a Dell Vostra machine for service. Mainly just software stuff, but um, we're going to make a little repair to the actual hardware as well. It amazes me sometimes what people do to their computers. Let's take a look at the back of this machine. Seriously? Are you kidding me? What's happened here is you have you know these things that actually screw into your in this case you know your motherboard or let's see your video card. These are actual screws themselves, and sometimes these little guys will back out. These are like standoffs. You sort of like standoffs. They um they can back out themselves and come loose. And in many cases, like with this video card, they actually fasten the connector to the back of the card well instead of trying to fix it you know well I'm sure they didn't have any more of these but they just opened the machine up bent an expansion card slot around which I've already sort of pushed it back in they bent that around and had this um, this pigtail just hang out the back of the machine plugged into the VGA connector why do people do stuff like this? I mean, seriously, this is crazy. Now, in the case for me, it'd be like a five-minute fix. Just pop the cover off, which I need to look inside this thing anyway. Everything inside looks fine. Here, have a look at this. You can see how bent up the expansion slot cover is. It's bent all the crap. So I gotta get another one of those. Which is, I mean, that's, that's not as much to it. You get no one of those um, slot covers. We got first. We got to fix this here. So take this off. This pulls up. Get that stupid thing out of the way. Look at this. Uh, I can probably bend it back. Yeah. Should be able to bend it back with my pliers, but I have probably a hundred extra. Just do pretty much what they done. They just they bent it. <laughs> they just sort of just bent it out of the way, basically. See how that fits. Get this through here. Come on, people. Why do you do stuff like this? Push this back through. And we'll get the screws for that in a moment. This goes in like so. This is a this is a newer Dell, and of course, you know, they're just like HP. The cases are cheap as crap. I mean, my my <laughs> the thirty dollar case that the Mid Tower Lux is in is is built with stronger material than this. And this and this almost ten years old. Well, that's nine years old this year. Okay, there's a good reason to have all these dead motherboards up here. It's something I've been, you know, I use them to hold CPUs and things like that. Mainly it's like a wall decoration, but another good thing they are useful for is when I need the standoffs, I usually have plenty to choose from. So, just take my pliers and just loosen them up. See, there's one. And let me get the other. Or just another one. Just a simple pop with the pliers and they come loose. Doesn't matter what connector you pull them from. They're all practically the same. And we'll just grab these two. And fix this issue. I don't think there's actually anything wrong with the, um, the video card itself <laughs> due to this, but you know, that's not a very practical way of fixing a problem. 
Yeah, you can see in the bottom of the screen there. Like seriously, come on people, don't do this kind of crap to your computers. Yes, I know I do know those things do back out. That's that's a given. It happens. I'm assuming that these these things are actually stuck to the um, VGA cable that the monitor goes to. It's not hard. It's not that hard to fix it right. I mean, the pliers to cooperate with me. Just give it a good hard twist to help ensure that you're when you tighten up your screw, and then next time you un well tighten up the cable. Next time you loosen the cable up, that it doesn't take the stand off with it. There. Let's put this back on. Yes, this is still gapped all the crap, but can't help it when Dell and HP and the other companies decide to cheap out on their computer cases. I mean, pretty bad. No, I don't. I don't necessarily believe that's aluminum either. We'll find out. But let's see. Might as well. If the magnet sticks, it's not aluminum, and it's stuck right to it. That's steel. <laughs> Very thin steel. So now this is actually fixed up. And of course, these um, the back of the case is a little bent up from where they went in there and just I tried to bend these things around a little bit. And just, <laughs> I don't I don't understand why they didn't just do things right. I mean, <laughs> it's just me. So, anyways, it's that is now repaired. And hopefully, it shouldn't come loose like that again. these two on here and we should be all set so that's how you can um, if you have a connector like that that actually pops loose you know these things go missing that's how you can yes how you can fix them I mean if you have an old computer laying around that you don't care about an old motherboard I mean this this save the save these things off of it Pretty easy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.